Hey guys, welcome back. Bobby K here today at Pico Hobby, and today I have our Dynam Hawker Hurricane. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to install the LED light driver in this model. Um, it's a question that we get quite a bit on in our comment section, and I just want to kind of go through it and show you guys how to install it. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We have the canopy popped open. I have my wire leads here for the lights, and on this particular model, we have um, a set of landing lights and then also a set of outer nav lights as well. So what we're going to do, depending on how we want to set this model up, on the LED light driver board, there is a spot that says flashing and a spot that says on. So depending on where you plug in your lights, you can either have them flashing or you can have them on. Um, for this particular model, I think I'm going to go ahead and make my outer nav lights flashing and then I'm going to keep my landing lights solid. Um, so we're going to go ahead, plug these in, and then on the wire lead coming off of our LED driver, there's going to be three leads coming off the flashing side and only two on the on. Not sure why that's done uh, from Detrum, but uh, yeah, it's just the way it's set up. They do include a little um, ex extension in there if you do want to set up more lights either on the flashing or on the solid side so that's kind of a nice little feature uh, but yeah it's really easy to hook up so let's go ahead and get this baby plugged in so I'm gonna go ahead grab my servo tester real quick so we can get power to this and then I'm gonna go ahead and kind of troubleshoot because I didn't mark my lights before plugging it in uh, we're gonna go ahead and troubleshoot so I can see where my landing lights are at and where my nav lights are at as far as wiring goes Okay, so now that we have power to these cords, let's go ahead and see what happens. Make sure your polarity is correct, red to red, black to black. Okay, so that's going to be one of our front nav lights, or front landing lights. So I'm going to keep that one solid. Let's go ahead and guess, see what this next one is. Make sure I have polarity correct. And that is our, hey, I got lucky, first try. That is our other landing light. So now that we know that we have both of our landing lights solid, let's go ahead and plug these two into the other connectors and those should be our outer nav lights that I want flashing. All right, there goes green flashing. All right, and there goes red flashing. So yeah, you see I have one more spot. Um, it's not necessary to cover that up if you don't want to. I could understand um, people worried about it being shorted out some way. So you can wrap some electrical tape around that if it does make you feel better about it. But um, yeah, other than that, that's really the only process to doing this. All you have to do is find your wire leads, plug these into whichever side you prefer as, as far as flashing or solid goes, and then you just connect uh, your other side of the lead here to a power source. Here I have it on a servo tester. Um, but what I'm going to do since this uh, aircraft, I have the MSR66A uh, receiver in it, um, and I've used all my ports since this uh, plane does have flaps and retracts. It's a six channel bird. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wire it off of one of my um, servo leads here, and that will give it power, and yeah, should be great. All right, so I have my Y here, and what I've done is I unplugged my throttle. I'm going to go ahead. Plug this one in, then the other side to my light controller. Again, make sure your polarity is correct. And then all we're going to do is plug this back into the throttle spot where it goes. Okay, so we got that in there. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to tuck this in here. It's not too neat right now, but I will straighten it up. I'm going to go ahead, plug in my Gen's Ace 2200 to this bad boy. First, let's go ahead and get our control beautiful DT9 blue controller on. All right, so that's powering up. Okay, she's on, so let's go ahead and plug it in. All right, so now we have lights. Check it out. All right, guys, so we have our nav lights flashing now. Our landing lights are solid, so we have it set up exactly um, how we want. Um, if I were to ever want to change this, it's just as easy as getting back in there, unplugging them, and plugging them into the different spots so I can have landing lights flashing and nav lights solid. Um, or you can make all of these solid just using our handy dandy extension that they come with. So yeah, that's really all there is to it, guys. If you have any other questions, please leave it in the comment section below. And yeah, like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell if you like what you're seeing to stay up to date on the latest and greatest from Dynam. Thank you very much, and have a great day, guys.